Hi everyone, Kim here with Card Creations by Kim.com. And this is my holiday card season 2012, episode 8. Now, so far, most of my cards have been, uh, you know, sparkly, sort of adult um, themed cards. And for some reason, this one, I, I said this in my other videos before, I, I literally will wake up in the morning and an idea will pop into my head. Or I'll be like grocery shopping and the card design will pop into my head. So um, this one happened to be my 3 a.m. That's what I want to do with my card card. So, all right, let me explain all that we're using here. We're using Hero Arts, a gift for you, and Merry Christmas. Some foam adhesives. Inside, oh, I forgot to show you. I made a little place for a gift card. So that's that. And I used a little bit of Inka Dinka Do blending chalks for the guy's little cheekies. And a Peachy Keen stamp, I used that one there. And I used Freshly Picked. And I changed it so that he has a Christmas theme to him. And I just want to take a moment to explain to you all that I did here. And I have my little layout here. Let me move my stamp. Okay. So, I cut them at two and a half, which he could have been bigger, but that's okay. So I did the black, which is this here, I mean the shadow. The, it's actually called Layers 2 Shadow. And then I cut this out in his green, so that's going to go on that. And then I needed his hands, but I didn't want it to have the little cuts for his eyes and everything. So I cut that out at like a skin tone color. And that's that right there. Can you see that? Sort of. It comes with his hands and then a couple little square things which I haven't really figured out where those go. But anyway, um, then I cut this out in black because I needed the strips for his belt. But I wanted that head because it doesn't have the cutouts for the face. So I cut it out, like I said, in skin tone and then I cut it out in black but so that we're going to throw the black one away. Then for this one I cut it out in red. And the sign I cut out in one and three quarters because I needed it to fit to be big enough for my a gift for you stamp. I think I covered everything. Alright, so let's go ahead, push this aside and we'll start putting the card together. Um, like I said, I used, or maybe I didn't say, Recollections card base that's already pre-scored. And even though it's pre-scored with um, this particular name brand, although they're awesome, they come with envelopes, I always like to make sure that it's still even because occasionally they will pre-score it incorrectly. And this craft cardstock is real stiff, so you want to push down hard. And we're going to put the card this way. Okay. I'm sorry, I had to shut my door. So I'm using this basil. It's got a little shimmer to it. By the way, you guys may be able to relate to this. This is my third attempt in making this video. My first one, I was almost done six o'clock in the morning and my husband who usually doesn't get up till seven woke up and the dogs got excited and started screaming so that one I deleted then the second one I had just started it and my phone rang so it interrupted interrupted the video so now we're here on the third attempt and come heck or high water I'm doing this card this is also basil and I picked this because it is the closest to this that I had. It's like a bluish color. And it has a little texture to it. Now the red is cut out just a quarter inch shorter than the card, which is five and a quarter by three and three quarters. And I like to get it right on the edge. And the glue helps it so that if I need to move it a little bit, I can do that. 
and I was back and forth about do I put ribbon on and then I started thinking about it and I thought you know what I'm not going to because I liked the paper and this is something I actually got let me lay this down and I'll show you the 12 by 12 I got it when I was shopping on Black Friday got it from Joann's and it's so cute. I, I was thinking about, you know, cutting it, the strips to do layouts, which I'm probably going to end up doing because I did buy four sheets of this. But isn't that cute? Wouldn't that be cute for a, a 12 by 12 layout? Okay. And then I went ahead and cut this at um, the, the, the uh, length and the width is just a quarter inch less than the blue. So I think it's three and a half by four, three and a half by five. But then I cut the bottom off. See, it was like this. Not so cute. Too bad, huh? But I'm going to flip it over. And put this in the bottom like this. Oh, and look what I did. I put it on the wrong side. All right, that's all right. I have an extra piece here that I can trim up real quick. I wonder if this works. Nope, too short. All right, we'll do this. See, I'm talking and not paying attention. I'm just gonna trim this by hand. I'm not gonna get out my whiskers blade. That's still a little bit too short. Okay, now I'm not very happy. I'm not a happy camper right now. A little card blooper here, didn't I? I'm gonna cut that right above the blue. Like so. And then just do a quick eyeball here as to where I want to cut it to be even with this. I'm going to cut it over in case I need to trim it down. Actually, that looks like it's going to be good. Let's try that again. So I need to put the glue on the pattern side so the green comes up. And right there. It's just a little bit too big. Wow. This video is, or this card is determined to. All right, so that's gonna be like that, which I should have cut it a little bigger, but it's the way it has to be. Okay, so you have the front of your card on. Let's go ahead and do the little gnome guy, which my husband said, oh, what a cute elf. All right, matching it up to your black shadow, making sure that it's on correctly. Now, how would I know that? There we go. All right, now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna put on his face, but let's do our little stamp first. And I'm gonna drop it down on his chin a little bit because the hat kind of goes up over his forehead. So cute. And then I'm going to put his hat on. Like that. Okay, now I want to put his belt on. I'm going to use my tweezers for this. And then after the belt, you put his sleeves on because the sleeves go over the belt. Oh, 
I have a little bit of glue on my fingertips. So everything's sticking. I think I just realized where the other little squares go that I was not sure of. I think you put, oops. My goodness. Okay, I think, no, that doesn't make sense because then you wouldn't be able to see his hands. Let's just try it. No, that's not the way the picture looks. Gosh, I'm not sure where these little... All right, so let's put his hands on. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. And then you have a black strip for his legs. I want to make sure you put that on right. It goes like that. And that one goes like that. And then there's a little white strip, or not really white, but... Now I thought about taking some white glitter or maybe some of my little recollections puffy oops, already put glue on that to make a beard to turn him into Santa but I liked him as a little elf looking thing better okay so then you have his belt loop teeny tiny you know what I'm going to use my zig for this because it's more of a pinpoint. Come on, come out, there we go. Excellent, oh, get down there. <laughs> there, okay, so our little elf is almost done. I'm just gonna take, what I did was I used the applicator and I chose this color right here and just, and blue on it so it didn't have any extra chalk on it. And I just came here and gave him some little cheeks like that. So cute. Okay, now on this, I stamped a gift for you. Take that one off. With my Hero Art stamps. And it barely fits, so it's doesn't look like it's got enough on it. Let's ink that up a little bit more. There we go. It barely fits. I have to be super careful here. It goes off a little bit. That's okay. So we got our sign done. We got our little guy done. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to use our foam adhesives and we're going to pop them up. Oh, goodness. There we go. I know you're thinking, why is she using tweezers? Um, as much as I think these acrylic nails are pretty, they are not user-friendly when it comes to card making. But I tell you what, I have tried to grow my nails myself and I've used all kinds of taking vitamins, I've done everything, but they just don't grow. All right, so I'm just gonna place him a little on the side like that. And then on this, I'm gonna take my Tim Holtz Distress Ink and my little finger dauber. Just gonna give it a little bit of color to it. You can get those finger daubers at Joann's or online. If you buy them online, you can buy them in like a huge pack in there. Um, you know, it's a better deal to do it that way. Kidok. 
and we'll kind of put that at a corner. Now on the inside, I'm going to take one of my celebrated envelopes and I'm going to go down about three quarters of an inch. Try the other side there, Kim. On both sides. I want to fold it down so they can see their card. But I want to put a little, because it just looks so plain right here, I want to put a little sentiment. So I'm choosing the Merry Christmas. That's going to go right here. And then again, that's where the gift card goes in. I'm just going to take a little bit of glue put it on the back and there you have your gift card holder now you can I should have done this while it was still off ink this as well what I did to the other one was I cornered it cornered it snipped the corners like so all right, so there's your gift card holder or your card. You don't I guess you don't have to necessarily put that in there, but and I think that is it. So it's a lot of fun. If you have any questions, just leave comments and see what I can do to help. Thanks a lot. Bye.